Hi everyone, uh, this is Dr. Josh Phillips. Um, so far as I know, about half of you are Brandywine students in the CAS department, uh, so you've probably had me before. Uh, the other half of you are from other Commonwealth campuses, so welcome to my course. This is CAS 204, um, uh, Communication Research Methods. Uh, so the way that we are going to run this class is uh, every Monday I am going to post uh, possibly a short YouTube video like this, or I'm just going to post other YouTube video full lectures. And I'm also going to post um, a document on Canvas under files, and that is going to give you a breakdown step by step of what YouTube videos you need to click on, what you need to read, and also what is going to be due. Um, nearly every week you will have some sort of an assignment due. All assignments are due Friday by 11.59 p.m. Um, I'm not going to accept late work. Um, the reason for this is one, um, if you do an online class and just tell students that everything is due by the end of the semester, people put it off for way too long and then they're missing out on a lot of work. So we need to have some sort of consistent due dates. Uh, the other thing is I need it by Friday night because then I'm going to spend the weekend for this class. Uh, the weekend for this class I spend grading and I start getting your materials ready for the following Monday to post. So the weekend is, when it, is really when I do all the work for this course. Um, and so if you start handing stuff in late, then I start getting behind as well. Uh, and in addition to this course, I have several in-person classes I need to teach. So uh, just make sure that you time manage correctly. In all, you know, this, you know, it's a three credit course. It's expected that you will be in class at least three hours a week, plus some additional class time for homework. I would find a way for yourself to dedicate uh, five hours a week for this class. Um, if you can just put yourself on a schedule one hour a day every day to look over materials, watch lectures, whatever it needs to, needs to happen. Um, okay, so let's talk about uh, this class briefly and then I'll get you on to uh, the assignments for this week. All right, so what you need to take care of this week. First and foremost, read the syllabus. The syllabus is posted up on Canvas. Um, again, you know, about half of it is the normal uh, Penn State stuff with regarding, you know, academic dishonesty and psychological services and whatever else, um, you know, they, they mandate in the syllabus. A couple things that you need to be aware of specific to our class. First, there are four books required for this class. You need all four of them. Um, I have three of them with me right now. Um, so here's all the books for the course. Um, the book uh, Anthem, um, Knowledge, A Very Short Introduction, and then the book Homelessness, um, which is my, uh, which is based off my dissertation. So we're going to use that to talk about ethnographic studies. You're going to get a real world account of what it's like to do ethnography. Um, all of those books have a handout included. So as you read these books, you will be filling out a handout. Um, and I'm going to get those handouts posted for everything within the next week or two. So if you want to start getting a head start on the reading, um, you're welcome to. So those are the three shorter books. The fourth book is this big research um, book. All right, so this is Introduction to Com Research Methods. This is an older book. I believe at the Penn State Bookstore, it's like one or $200. Don't buy a one or $200 book. Um, these are out of print, but I still like using them because older editions cost less online. Um, I found this book online um, in lots of different spots for 10 to $20. So you can find this book online for 10 to $20, but you need to make sure you get it. Um, the course material, as far as some of the lectures I'll be posting, is out of this book. Um, however, uh, even more importantly, is near the end of the semester, we're going to do quantitative research. So that's going to require math. Um, in this book, there are sections that talk you through how to do these sort of mathematical problems with regard to statistics. Uh, the, the, the textbook is extremely helpful. Uh, for students. So make sure you get a copy of all four books. You should be able to get all four books for less than $50 total. Um, so make sure that you have those ordered and ready to go by this Friday. All right. So this Friday, I believe, is the um, 19th of January. Um, get a lot of things done by this Friday. All right. When it comes to navigating Canvas for this course, um, files is where all the paperwork is going to be. Your handouts, your assignments, the instructions for the assignments. Um, as you see right here, if I can mark it, um, here we go, right, and uh, I'll try to mark it in red. Um, every week on Monday, I'm going to post a document that just says week one, week two, week three, and on. Um, all of that information is posted in Canvas under files. 
and then you can just click on the week um, that we are in. So this week there is a week one document. Um, go ahead and click that open and then it's going to have a step by step of watch this video number one, watch this video number two, complete this assignment number three. Um, and then you can just do a little checklist to make sure everything's done by uh, that Friday at 11.59 p.m. Um, for this week, week one, uh, there are two assignments that are due. They're relatively short. They're not going to take a ton of heavy lifting. Make sure they get those. Uh, you get those done. This is sort of like a free, I think it's almost worth um, like 40 points total maybe. Um, just it's, it's, it's like take 40 points for free. All right, everyone, let's get off to a good start. Um, so everyone can start with an A+. All right, so the two assignments that you need to get done this week um, is you are going to complete this three list of 10 assignment. Some of you have done this with me if you've had me for CAS 101. Uh, there's a couple of videos you watch. So make sure you do the week one document in order because some of it's gonna be watch a video and then complete an assignment that pertains to the video. And if you don't watch the video, you're gonna be lost on what the assignment is. Um, so complete this three list of 10 assignment um, and also complete an APA assignment. So there is an APA video um, that is, probably infamous at this point um, because it's, you know, 30 minutes of me talking through an APA PowerPoint. I know that is not very exciting, but uh, students do need to learn APA. Um, so watch the APA video if you have not had me before and you need a refresher. Um, and then also on Canvas, there is an APA example sheet that will help you learn how to cite um, uh, scholarly sources appropriately. All right. Um, so do the three list of 10 assignment, do the APA assignment. Those are both due. Friday by 9, or excuse me, by 11.59 p.m., all right? Um, again, every Monday um, morning or so, um, I'm, going, I'm going to post uh, a document on Canvas that just kind of step-by-step -step what we're covering that week. And then you can also follow along in the syllabus. Obviously, there's a, there's a schedule um, for everything we're doing on the last page of the syllabus that you can download for yourself. Um, and then everything's due by Friday at 11.59 p.m. Um, other than that, uh, there's not too much else to go over. Um, my uh, email, phone number, you're welcome to get a hold of me whenever you need to. Uh, again, I do teach in-person classes. I'm in a lot of meetings, um, so just give me a little bit of time um, if I don't get back to you right away. Um, oh, the last thing I want to mention, uh, and this is important for everybody. Um, so two things when it comes to your assignments that you're going to turn in. First, make sure that it is turned in in a Microsoft Word or a PDF document. All right, Microsoft Word or a PDF document, those documents have opened for me 100% of the time on Canvas. When it gets into things like notes or Google Docs or other um, ways to type up papers or assignments or quizzes, those don't always open for me. Sometimes they say, you know, the, the person who submitted this forgot to give you their Google Doc password, so you're not allowed to see it. Um, please don't do that. Please just turn in Microsoft Word um, and PDF. Otherwise, you and I are going to go back and forth on email, you know, several times uh, me looking for your assignments. I do not want to hunt down assignments. Turn them in on Microsoft Word or PDF. Um, and the second thing when it comes to turning in assignments, please know that all of your assignments, when they come through my version of Canvas, um, are set up to go through a turnitin.com style plagiarism check. All right. It's an online class, um, assignments, quizzes, exams, they're all gonna be submitted online. I am well aware of the ease at which um, students can cheat or plagiarize or not do their own work. Um, however, I have structured my Canvas uh, page to make sure that um, I can you know, use as many tools available to me to make sure that students aren't you know, copying and pasting or using old exams or taking papers from students before. So if a student has taken my class before and then you try to use their same paper, it's going to pop up as this is plagiarized because th that paper from a year or two ago has already gone through my system. Um, and so if you turn in the same system, it's going to start lighting up. Um, I know all the AI, chat GPT kind of stuff. Please know that um, the lectures that I give are specific to this class. And that also is going to translate into what I expect on the exams. Um, it's relatively easy to figure out whether or not a student has used some sort of like chat GPT AI thing to like get their answers for them, uh, simply because the answers are usually so far off base because they're in a completely different context 
Um, and so a student, um, yeah, they're, they, you know, a, a robot is answering a question that they think is correct based on what they scan through the internet, but it's not necessarily correct based on my PowerPoints, my lectures, the textbooks. Um, so just do your own work. It's a 200 level class. Um, there's not a ton of heavy lifting. It's uh, five exams, four papers, and then a few kind of, you know, gimme points um, when it comes to a couple quizzes and handouts that should be, again, like super easy for you to get done. All right. Um, so that's sort of the overview of the class. All I'm going to ask you to do now is to hop onto Canvas and get that week one document and then start checking stuff off. Uh, again, I know it's uh, I'm posting this on Tuesday, so we're a day lit later, but with MLK Day and now the snow's going on outside, it took a little bit uh, longer to get everything set up. Uh, but you have two assignments due this Friday. They're relatively short, um, so get a head start on them. Uh, and other than that, I'm only going to be talking to you once a week, um, uh, every Monday. All right. Um, I look forward to seeing your work. And um, other than that, I'm not going to uh, send a bunch of email reminders or anything. So just make sure that you are checking in on our class um, every Monday to get the week's uh, uh, assignments and instructions. All right. I will see you later.